What's going on guys, CJ here. Today's video is gonna be pretty short and sweet. I just kinda of wanted to talk about what we currently have on screen and then just sort of, you know, future state of the game, the channel, etc. So let's go ahead and take a take a dive into this. <clears throat> Alright, guys, so as you can see, we're we're currently sitting on the uh the store. And uh maybe as a free-to-play player, you don't generally spend too much time in here outside of your bonus chest throughout the day, but in the mobile gaming space they're usually free to play, right? Like there's not usually an upfront cost to play a mobile game. Um, there, there probably are some out there, but generally speaking, most of them are going to be get your, you know, they get you into the game. You start playing, they kind of get you interested and excited. And they start throwing those screen offers on your, on your, uh, on your device, right? Whether you're playing on blue stacks or your phone or whatever. And a lot of the times those first offers are like insane offers. You just, you can't miss, right? Like, I've been playing a lot of different mobile games over the last week as I've just had a lot of extra free time, um, both from like a work bandwidth. So really unfortunate that the timing of all this is kind of happening because this is when I've like had the most time to really dedicate a little bit extra resources throughout the day to put time into making videos. And there are still a lot of videos I do want to make for Heroes of Middle Earth, but I'll be completely honest, it's been a little bit, um, you know, demoralizing or... Uh, unfortunate that the state of the game is where it's at which is nothing no updates no you know no nothing happening so our last saving grace that was really on the calendar outside of really just the next ea quarterly earnings call was the embracer call which was earlier this week and uh not much information on it if you're if you're interested in a little bit more detail around some of the specifics of the embracer call quantum made a video on it um, so if you, if you want some more specifics of exactly, you know, some details, then, you know, definitely check and take a look at his channel and take a look at that video. But if you're, uh, you know, like I said, <clears throat> was hopeful that maybe there was something that they called out for heroes of middle earth. They didn't, uh, wasn't really mentioned at all. They said middle earth enterprises as a whole was doing okay, but they didn't call out that, you know, of course there was anything happening specifically with the development of the game or any call outs of the game. And, and maybe was hoping that post that call, that if there was something that couldn't be shared is what triggered maybe some kind of communication from capital games but again here we are on the weekend we're not really probably expecting anything over the weekend and then monday is a holiday here in the u.s so probably nothing at best case scenario until midweek next week which at this point i'm not even going to guess or hope for any kind of communication because we are far from the point of no return and at least some kind of an apology if the time ever does come as to where they've been and what they're doing I'd understand, like, if they feel like the game hasn't panned out where they want it, but they put so much investment into the game that they didn't want to just totally give up, but they're kind of working in the back end of what can we do to improve it and maybe do some kind of, like, another launch in a way, right? Like, another way to, hey, we've got all this great new stuff, all these great new characters, all this great new content, and just blasted everybody in like five months from now, right? Like just a ton of stuff added to the game, like a new raid, like 10 new characters, uh, new adventures, a new single battle mode, a, uh, you know, multi-squad arena, like all this stuff just kind of hits the ground and they do a huge marketing campaign behind it and try to gather a bunch of new players and almost like a relaunch of the game. I'd be extremely excited for something like that, but it's unfortunate that the player base that they currently have and that they're losing every single day they're just staying quiet to that plan of attack or it's just anything like, Hey guys, something like I get it. There's some legal aspects to it. They're not just going to blatantly come out and say, Hey, we fucked up and uh, we're just not going to do anything for the game for six months, but we hope you guys keep playing. Like no one's going to really have that go over too well, but at least we would know like, all right, well, I mean, if I want to keep hammering out my roster, I know they're coming back at some point in the summer. But at this point, we don't know. I mean, it's fair to say they're not coming back at all because we are now well over a month of nothing. We've got no calendar, which is free for players. So that doesn't really help them, particularly outside of pushing somebody to log into the game every day. Right. Um, but what really drives home in the point of like my first point here in this video is mobile games are free and they are driven on those flash sale offers, those pack offers, those level 10, 20, 30 reward offers, uh, character specific offers, whatever type of game you're playing, those are what drive the game. And in the early game, they are huge and they're probably still showing up on a lot of people's new accounts and maybe potentially still driving revenue. 
because they're automatically triggered. I don't, they're like just for you offers. You hit level 10, this is just for you. The Hobbit offer, just for you. Like those aren't every day for everybody, right? <clears throat> um, but right now we have nothing. So your your whales and your krakens and the people who are like really spending in this game and not buying that $2 or $5 offer, but buying the marquee characters, which was one thing that's fallen off the bucket, right? Whether it be just new characters to, to push people to purchase in this game, but also just the characters that were here, like Bilbo and such and Bomber and whatever else, like they're gone. Like if you wanted to progress that character, you can't like they're just not in the game right now. They don't exist. So, you know, if they were like OP broken as hell and you weren't a spender and you're waiting for them to show up, even in the gem shot to passively kind of go after them based off your arena rankings, like you literally can't do that so if they were like they're not like so op to the point where like nothing else in the game works against them or you need them to even have a, you know a chance in this game but if they were at that level and there were more than two or three like that would be bad right like you could have people who could just take over the ladder because you don't have the characters because you were just waiting for the normal cadence of a character's kind of push from marquee to gem store to wherever into literally they don't even exist in the game right now there's no way to farm them so that's a big problem. But then again, like the offers, man, like the offers were never good. They, they really weren't right. But every once in a while, there was like an OK one. Or if there was something you really needed, like, man, I'm just short on essences. I'm just short on this. I don't want to farm this character. And they got a great offer on the table for like 100 shards of this guy. And, you know, like I'm not a spender for the most part in this game. I probably dropped like 100 bucks on the game in total, maybe a little more than that, but not not much. But the people who do spend, that's what drives this game, right? And those guys can't be in the game right now because it doesn't exist. So it's really weird to see a mobile game. I, I mean, all for the fact that I can come in the game and not have to hit the X button about a dozen times to just keep seeing the Bilbo offer because it's the only thing that could pop up on my screen. So that's sort of nice. I'm not hating that, but um, no one can, you can't. I mean, no one's just buying these gem packs, right? Like and in the state of the game right now with zero communication, I've seen a lot of guild clusters starting to uh need to move some resources you know to kind of like get rid of the guild to sort of fill you know fill out rosters um you know there are players leaving the game and, and those are your dedicated players so you're you're more casual players where they're like oh man there's like nothing going on in the game like they're well gone right like you they came in they played for a couple of days maybe a couple of weeks and they're gone and to get them back is going to be really really tough it really is i mean again going into my personal last week or so I played about a half a dozen different mobile games. I played Disney Mirrorverse, which had a lot of fun in that game, but like it didn't really hook me into where like I just want to play every day like I had with Heroes of Mid-Earth when I started playing this game back in August. Like I wanted to log in, I wanted to keep playing, I wanted to keep progressing, I wanted to join like a like a high-end guild to to push myself further. Then I wanted to create content because I liked the game so much and I haven't made content in years. Like I, a long time ago as a Twitch streamer, for overwatch and then i stopped streaming because i just wasn't loving overwatch anymore like i did at the time then i started playing hearthstone a lot so i started streaming that game because i was a really high-end player in hearthstone generally finishing like top 500 legend in standard and wild every single month so i started making content on that and then after a couple of months of making some content for that game it just kind of fizzled for me because i didn't really enjoy just making like deck guides because you can you know anyone makes that I wanted to start covering like more generic content like patch notes and stuff like that sort of like in this game which was like my plan like hey give some guides and then just kind of be like that one-stop shop channel for anything update related but i started creating content on december 24th last year and literally the day i started making content until today there's been zero communication besides the one twitter post that like whatever right they're out and about maybe coming back maybe not so it's unfortunate that like I got the itch to create content again and the game has no content for the most part to make for it. And even if I wanted to go real deep and put a lot of effort into making something, which shout out to the other content creators that still have been trying to push as much value as possible to you guys and give you something to just kind of keep interested in the game. It's just tough to find the, the desire to do it. And we're constantly losing player base, right? So even from that perspective, you know, like my goal is to continue to grow the channel, obviously, um, to see my sub count go up to hit a thousand subs. Like all that is obviously like in the back of my mind, like part of the reason why I make content, like any content creator 
wants to continuously see their you know their selves grow in this space like it's it's exciting it's it's boosting it's what gets you to want to keep doing it and right now it's tough because we're losing probably more players more dedicated players more people who are on the internet trying to find the information that they want for this game disappearing because your casual player probably doesn't really care that often to go and find what are the best characters what is the tier list what's the best teams like they're just oh i like lord of the rings what's out there okay cool heroes of Middle earth let me download it oh this is kind of cool and just like playing the story for a couple of days and then just a just a disappearing right like how many players on average probably well, i don't know what the average retention rate is in a mobile game but i can't imagine it's super high because even over like i said the last week I played dizzy mirrorverse fun real combat game i gave a lot of effort over the last two days in king arthur legend rise again a fun action game neither one of them are like a shard farming base game they're so they're completely kind of different than this style where like you can target farm a character and then star them up those games are like your raid shadow legends which maybe more you guys are familiar with which is like you get them based off a loot box system essentially right like you just open up a shard and then they could be in there and you could have an amazing account right off the rip because you open that like s plus legendary or you could just open no legendary and maybe no epic and you just have rares and uncommons and those are your characters to work with until you get something better later in the game and then to level them up and do those types of things very raid shadow legends like you progress through the campaign, you get some resources, you upgrade your characters by putting on six different slots of gear, uh, you level them up, you star them up, but it's all using resources in the game, not a shard node that you can farm once per day, like five times, like a Marvel Strike Force, a Heroes of Middle Earth, a you know, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero-esque game. So not to say I don't like those games or I'm, I'm, I'm a bigger fan of one or the other, but like obviously I've been really excited about this game. So like I was trying to find something similar, but I don't want to play a game that's five years old. So anyways, I tried Marvel Story Force. I, I tried Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. I tried King Arthur Legends Rise. I tried Disney Mirrorverse. There's probably a couple others that are sprinkled in there over the last week. And granted, like giving a game a day or two and then and like not playing it anymore is not enough time to really truly get invested. But like, you know, the beginning, like they are pushing you to stay in the game. Unlike games like mobile games when you're in there for a couple of weeks you you kind of don't have as much to do because you're you're resource starved unless you pay to get more resources but in the beginning they just want to push you to stay in there for a couple hours so like a lot of these games i've given a few hours and nothing's really stuck so it's like i guess the, the other part of the video is, is like what am i going to do well for now i'm going to keep hopeful i'd like to kind of keep pushing out some content it might not be daily like i was doing it might be a couple videos a week um i do want to still make my top support top five support video and my top five dps video i do still want to make some team specific build guides like i did with the haradrum um you know do like maybe a um like a gondor group or um like you know like your standard ones too like your rivendells your your goblins your thorns company whatever right like some guides around that to help players as we probably still get some coming to the game um and you know just kind of like stay in communication with you guys but Ultimately, like we'll have to see where the channel goes as like a strictly Lord of the Rings home channel, because again, if we don't have content, it's really hard to continuously make stuff. And if we keep losing players, it's even harder to get the uh, just the drive to say, I want to keep doing it. Like when I first started creating content in December, I was I had a lot of things in the back of my mind. I was pushing content every day and I enjoyed making the videos every day because I was excited for what's next. But now that we have nothing that's next, there's not a lot of drive in the game. Like I'm not playing the game nearly as much as I was even just a couple of weeks ago. I log in, I do my quick grabs and I log out. And then on the raid days, I log in, I try a couple of times, but I'm not like hard pushing to beat last week's score. Now it's like, man, if I'm even close or I'm at what I did last week, that's good enough. Like I have a long way to go to progress my account. I'm not even securing 10 million a week right now for my total four chapters combined. But like, I just, I don't really have the drive right like i don't a lot of people are probably feeling the same way whether it's just your normal player or content creator or whatever right like you gotta you gotta love what you're doing and i still really enjoy the game i'm still hopeful i'm still gonna log in every day until we're told the game is dead and then maybe i probably won't anymore because there's not really a reason to but while i have the opportunity to keep playing the game i will because i'm making good progress on my account like Right now, I have most of the target farmed characters that I'm going after probably like two to three weeks out before they're all done. Like I have, you know, seven star Arwen 
in Elodin, right? So they're like seven starred G8 done in regards to ready for an Elrond to return. Um, I'm working on the goblins. All of them are five star except for Orphers. I'm going to get him to five star. I could push them to six and seven and I might do that. It depends who my next target farm team is, but they're all like there. He's almost five star within about a week's time. Um, I got Biffer almost a six star. I might push him to seven, but six is pretty cool just to kind of get him up to that level. Finish Goldbergs in the shop. Uh, Lomian, I'm going to keep working on. He's almost seven star. So like I got a lot of characters that I've been targeting over the last month and month and a half that are all getting close to being done. And when they're done, <clears throat> I'm going to have a plethora of energy left that I'm not using. So like I probably will target farm. I'm thinking Gondor, like I'm just going to go all in on them and just use my resources into Gondor and then use the extra into farming another team or Gondor's gear abilities, right? Like getting both their character ability, actual abilities up and their um their gear tiers because G9, G like obviously G10 is kind of pay to win, but G9 is is attainable. I have a lot of essence to do that. So like it's totally in the realm to to push myself to get my characters that are G8 to G9 for that little extra squeeze. But for now, I'm fine with just kind of G8s like tar like really just if I can get a bunch of teams to G8, like that's pretty cool. But then to like add to that and kind of like round up this video, even if they did make a triumphant comeback, a big apology and got a lot of people back into the game. If a lot of people that are hardcore, like I'm a pretty low spender. So like me kind of just giving up on the game, I would say like if I wasn't a content creator, I might still log in, but I'd be less interested, I guess you could say, into like really caring to log in every single day, multiple times a day. But if I was like heavily invested in the game, I spent hundreds or thousands of dollars. I would feel like I'm almost locked into continue playing because like I, I put so much into the game. And my point to this is if you're a whale or a kraken and you spent a ton of money, you might have still been spending a ton of money right up until about a week or two ago. And then you decided, all right, well, I don't know what's going on. I might like peel, like peel back a little bit or peel back completely until you hear something. The thing is, is if they make a big comeback, their biggest spenders are those people. And because they've had months now, two months to just do what they needed to do on their accounts and their roster to get it to where they want it to be. They probably have a lot of teams, if not all teams at five star or further. So if they were to just be like, boom, here's two new legendaries that require Dunlin five star, right? Like a team like a lot of people haven't put time into or, or Mordor or just like more of those niche teams that haven't really had as much time put into like now more recently your goblins or historically your elves or the Haradrim or Road to Rivendell, right? Like the teams that like a, like Isengard, teams that everyone's pretty much has some or all of those characters at five star or better. Those players probably have them all at five star or better now. So if you were to release like a Dunlin required comp with like any, like you need obviously some additional characters added in there to make it a full five. But if they do anything like that, like those people don't nearly need to spend that much money because they have the characters like when the goblins was told that they were going to be the requirement for the for the thorns company you had to have people buy great goblin you had to buy those gem packs and a lot of people didn't have goblins so like you just naturally got a big boost in revenue because people had to spend money but now all these players probably have a lot of these characters maxed out or not maxed but above the required threshold to get the legendary at the minimum requirement of five star for x amount of heroes across probably most of the, the the characters in the game so yeah your average player is not going to have it and maybe they're tempted to spend a little bit of money because they want it or if they're close to it they might just say you know what i'm going to just like push it because i want it but like generally you make the majority of money from your big spenders in these types of games you need a lot of big spenders to make a lot of big money in these games and if all these people have characters already at the point they're just not going to spend that much money. So even when you do make a return, if it's in a month or two months from now, I feel like they're still going to be in a tough spot because they're just not going to generate enough revenue to where the game's going to continue to thrive. So they need a miracle, honestly. At this point, they're going to need like a, uh, a home too, right? Like a, like a complete re-release of the game with a ton of additional features added to the game. And maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe that's why we're not hearing from them. Maybe they're just working hard in the background, staying quiet, heads down, doing what they need to do to get us to the next point in the in the game and then just push a huge update out to us and hard market it to a lot of 
old players who haven't played in 30 plus days or obviously a ton of new players that are interested in lord of the rings and mobile games like that might be their plan of attack i don't know right but hopefully the game's not truly dead hopefully it's not down and out not coming back i feel like they had to have paid a lot of money for the ip a lot of money for the development of the game and to not even give it a full year seems like kind of a miss i mean think about it we haven't had an update since really december with like the legendary release of thorn and the glyphs the game launched in may so you're saying they gave the game seven months and said nope it sucks we're out i feel like that's just that's got to be kind of crazy right like even a bad game probably goes at least a year or two before they just say nope it's not where we want it we're done and an ea company they're not a small developing developer where they don't have any resources or, or additional money on the side to pull from another game to just kind of keep it you know chugging along until they hopefully get it to where they want it to go and maybe in year two it's just it just didn't pan out and then they kind of just they you know they give up or maybe they, they, they are maybe they're just saying you know what it hasn't worked out we're done we're not even going to take the risk and, and continue to throw money at it we're just going to call it quit so who knows i don't know let me know you guys thought so let me know what you guys are playing i'm really interested because i'm trying to find something on my phone i mean i'm a pc game gamer but with a young three-year-old it's sometimes hard to get in here and just kind of play the games that i want to play on the full screen so kind of been playing mobile games and uh, I want something new. I really do. I'm, I'm hoping <laughs> hoping you guys got something that I, maybe I'm, I'm unaware of that is worth checking out. So let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys hopefully in the next one here over the next few days. I'll, um, I'll send out probably the top five support and top five DPS videos. It's probably going to be my next two that are kind of in the pipeline. And then we'll figure out what's up um, after that. So anyways, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.